I am proud of Arizona football, and I think Arizona football is still going to be good. Arizona AD Dave Hickey is out. He is gone. Did you guys see this? They lost their head coach because he went to Washington. It turns out he might be a D-bag. Everybody didn't. People, some things came out like, oh, that guy might not be great. Some of the way that he's handled former players who have assault cases. And there are a lot of question marks around Jed Fish that I think I was even turning a blind eye to because he was in Arizona having a lot of success. Now that he's gone, I'm thinking, huh, what if Brett Brennan can come in and win right away? because he's the kind of guy, and I'm going to make this case over the course of the segment, that Brennan Brennan is the kind of guy that has worked very hard in college football and done things the hard way, not shying away from some of the worst jobs in the country, which Arizona is not right now, shy, not shying away from those jobs like a San Jose State, uh, like an Oregon State, and finding more success than most there, San Jose State being the main case for Brennan, because that is nuts what he was able to do with that program. And... I think, can I tell you something? I don't think Dave Hickey's bad. I think that him leaving as the athletic director is not awful. He just made a great, uh, in my opinion, a pretty good hire, pretty great hire by bringing Brennan in. Uh, and he was the guy that hired Jed Fish too. So some of you might be going, oh, you know, it's tough. To, how do you judge? How do you judge an athletic director? Well, well, maybe the, the, the biggest reason that Arizona is currently having trouble at the top is a story that you'll remember when somebody said, hey, guys, we should just audit. We should just see what we have and where it is. And that entered Arizona into a financial crisis when they realized that there was $240 million of cash on hand missing. You remember this? This was this was an insane thing. Like I lose my keys sometimes every now and then. Can I tell you can I, can I tell you a story? I left rat poison out the other day to see if there was rats and there were not. I'm moving into a new house. This is a great segue. Moving into a new house. I accidentally left my wallet in my car sitting in the front seat car unlocked for two hours while I was moving. I just forgot that my wallet was for God and everybody to see outside of my household and nobody stole it. That's how you know you live in a safe neighborhood. I do stupid stuff and lose things. $240 million of miscalculation of projected cash on hand is hard to do. Hard to do. And there was never like a, oh, yeah, so-and-so committed fraud or so-and-so was embezzling. There was never this big case against one person who caused that. It was just a oopsie, a $240 million oopsie. In that situation, I don't care if you're Dave Hickey, the athletic director, or, or if you are the janitor. You, your job is in danger. President Robert C. Robbins, Dr. Rob, Dr. Rob wants to thank Dave for his outstanding efforts in leading the athletic department, men's and women's basketball programs. He oversaw the success of several of our sports, always displayed the highest integrity. I'm appreciative of his partnership and dedication. This doesn't sound, you know, it's like the kind of like parting of ways thing. And he, he got to put out a statement. Things were pretty mutual here, but this wasn't uh, oh yeah, he, he's ready to go. This was, oops, we need to start doing some stuff and moving stuff around. He actually apparently quoted ESPN laid out a plan that included hiring freezes and a pause on all major construction projects within the athletic department, who is still on the hook to repay a $55 million loan issued during the pandemic. So what this, what this says to me, and I haven't even gotten the football part of my, I was going to tell you some good news about Arizona. Uh, what this says to me is the athletic department itself is in disarray, but I don't think it's bad for the football team because they got a good head coach. Look, Brennan coming in is not this splash crazy hire that everybody's going to love. I, I get that. But what he brings, I read it's at Zona Zealots, which I actually have found this from like two weeks ago. I really like the site. They list tradition, culture, and loyalty as the reason that Brennan is going to be the right fit at Arizona. And that to me, when you have guys like T-Mac and Noah Fafita coming back, brother, if you're if you're a TCU fan out there, if you're a Tech fan, if you're a BYU fan, if you're a Colorado fan, if you're a West Virginia fan, a UCF fan, Iowa State, anybody, just reason with me here for a second. Maybe the two best offensive weapons, and there are a lot of them in the Big 12. You could scream Cam Rising. You could scream Garrett Green. You could scream, hey, Rocco Beck. You could scream. I mean, I'm missing like a KJ Jefferson. Uh, there are so many that I'm missing. Are the people you'd be like, oh, yeah, that guy's going to be an offensive juggernaut. Ollie Gordon at running back at Oklahoma State. But I think T Mac and Noah Fafita could be the top two. They could be like 1A and 1B, brother. And Arizona's getting those guys back. 
That's a lot of confidence in a guy for Brendan who's come from San Jose State. You don't hear that. You don't hear that and think, oh, wow, that strikes fear. What a really strong mid-major. No, but that's the whole point. They sucked. They sucked before he got there and he made them good. He was at Oregon State from 2011 to 2016, San Jose State from 2017 to 2023. That's a long time. In today's college football in general, that's a long time from 2011 to 2023 to be at only two schools. You don't see a lot of head coaches who are at one place more than five years. It's just not really happening right now. Even more so, you don't see a lot of head coaches who are at Oregon State and San Jose State for more than a couple of years, and then they get fired. More than a couple of years, and they try to move somewhere else and, and make a better, a better move for their family. But Brent Brennan has shown consistency and loyalty. Guess who didn't? Guess who didn't? Jed Fish. He's gone. Your two best players stayed. And right now, this is crazy too. This I highlighted this from the article from uh, Zona Zealots. Over the past 25 years, Arizona has now had nine different head coaches. That's an average tenure of 2.7 years. Now you have a guy. Now here's a guy who's going to stay. Congrats, Arizona. I think things look up. Your athletic department shows that it wants to be serious about sports. They don't care who they have to fire at the very top. They don't care who they have to fire for money or whatever. They're going to win. Do it the right way. I like that. This is Locked On Big 12, part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. Today's show is brought to you by eBay Motors. eBay Motors is where I need to go. My car was making a weird noise the other day. Now it's not anymore. And you go, how? How? I, you know, how? Passion, drive, and patience. That's what brings home the winning trophy. That's what keeps your ride or die alive. eBay Motors has everything you need to maintain your vehicle from superchargers to roof racks to exhaust kits, LED headlights, and more. Whether you're into speed, power, or style, eBay Motors has got you covered. 122 million parts for your number one ride or die. You'll always find exactly what you're looking for with eBay Guaranteed Fit. Your part is guaranteed to fit every time of your money back. eBay Motors, you're burning rubber, not cash. With all the parts you need at the prices you want, it's easy to turn your car to the MVP and bring home that win. Keep your ride or die alive at ebaymotors.com. Go to ebaymotors.com. Just check it out. Your car's making a weird noise. You need a new belt. Your exhaust thing's weird. You got like a, 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 a crack in the thing. Go to eBay Motors. Eligible items only. Exclusions apply. eBay guaranteed fit. Only available to U.S. customers. Guys, I'm telling you, go now. Check out eBay Motors.